guys, it's me, and today I'm going to teach you how to play monograms, or at least give you some helpful tips, I guess you could say. Now, um, if you're like me, you've, you've had, or you have now, no freaking clue what you were doing. I, I started playing, and I was confused beyond belief, okay? Beyond belief. But I wanted to try. Ooh. Okay, sorry. So, um, as you can see, I've already done these, so I'm not going to do them again because, like, I need to start fresh. So we're going to do with um, a new game, and we're going to do easy, and then I'll do medium, and then I'll do hard. Now, these are ads. They happen a lot, so we're going to ignore them. Now, if you see these number 10s, that means 10 of these blocks right here in this row, or I mean in this column, and 10 that are up here. Um, 10 are going to be filled in this one. Now, since there's only 10, we can just go all the way down. Okay. And when it turns that color, those light, those white ones, that means that everything in that row has already been filled, so you don't have to do anything to that row anymore. Or that to the column anymore. So, you see those X's? You can press X, and then you see this 2 over here? Well, nothing in this row is going to be used anymore, so you can cross off everything in that row. Because that row is already complete. Now, this is going to be a lot based off of counting. So, you can go switch back to your box, or your square, or whatever you want to call it. And you can click right here, right here, right where that 8 and 1 is, because you know that 8, I mean, that technically 9 of these boxes are going to be filled. But, see, there's two separate numbers, which means there's a block in between them, or at least one block in between them. Now, since there's only 10, and we have 1, block being used, the one I just placed, and one block, which is a space in between them, we can say that's two already, and if eight of them are going to be filled, you can do the math, and that is correct. Boink! So you can finish that whole row off. Now, there's a lot of, like, I guess you say reflected or mirrored or whatever in this. There's no, it's a lot of symmetry. So you can, so, so most of the time, if they're the same numbers on each side, as you can tell, there's a two on... I've talked about the rules. Oh, I did not mean to click that. Oh, yeah, you have three hearts. I'm talking about the columns. The first column has a two. The second one has a four. The next one has a seven. Then the another one has one eight. The next one has ten. The next one has ten. The next one has one eight. The next one has seven. The first one has four. The next one has two. So, do you know those things like Taco Cat or Mom where they're spelled the same way backwards as they are forwards? If they're like that, typically, typically, that's what they are. And there's a lot of repeating um, in these things. So I would suggest like looking at that type of stuff. And remember that if these boxes already count as three spots being filled in this column. So that means you have seven that need to be filled. And that means there's seven left. Now, if it, if it, so you can, if it gets down to these where it says like four and there's more than four spots, what I tend to do is I put in the ones that they have to be in, and I get rid of the ones that they can't be in. And I know it can be tricky, but, you know. And then, if you, since we can't find a little, anything more on these rows, because we don't exactly know where these are, we can go to the, I mean, these columns, we can go to the rows. So you see how there's ten? I automatically usually do all the tens, it's just for the, um sake of explaining I did that so anything that has a right a, a white column or a right row you can automatically get everything rid of now you see how everything connects there's say there's going to be four in this row I mean this column there's going to be eight in the other one and then you have a picture see a lot of these pictures ended up being symmetry so that's just how it works sometimes sometimes not all the time now we're gonna do a new game and we're gonna go to medium this time so the other one had so these both have 10 um, it's just based off how much more math you need to do and how much more work you need to put into it now here's a perfect example of what I was going to get to next you see how it says 8 are going to be filled sometimes but not all the time they center it. See, like that. Sometimes you will have to go from the bottom um up to like 
having two spaces left but sometimes they send you the things so if you are one of those types of players that just goes for it um i would look into that i mean i would look at that see because it's not every time i mean i mean that's our yeah see it's not every time see because there's only one space on the top and there's three on the bottom so it's not every time that trick is not foolproof but i'm just saying if you are going to go for it i would suggest um just i would suggest doing that so do you guys get the gist of it um another thing is you see how i got rid of that one block up there but how would i have known that well if you see there's a three and this three has already been filled and oh it goes in order of what goes next so the three has to be before the four block space so that means they can't start the four block over there because there's only one space left so we can automatically get rid of that one space and the one that's connecting because that means they have to be opposite so there's only four spaces left that's where it's going to end up being and you see this row right here it's going to be four right here and nothing else in the finish and now see i have to get i can get rid of these because those are not going to be it and so these things that are separating it they have to have x's on the each end because if they didn't that means they would just be one long thing but it's not obviously because there's two separate numbers if that makes sense now you see how this it says the one has to be before the three well there's three the three is right there so that means we can get rid of the one that's touching it because we need to separate them and all these at the bottom which is very helpful because look at you have six and seven on these and eight on these rows so now you know exactly where they're going to need to go because there's that many spaces left so we can get the one over here and we can finish the six, we can finish the seven, and we can finish the eight. And that ends up finishing our picture. Aw. <laughs> um, so the main thing that happens when it goes from easy to medium to hard is one, the level of complicity that you're going to need to think at, and how many spaces. Yeah. So this one has 15, which makes this process a lot more difficult, not going to lie. <laughs> um... So this one ends up being a lot of guessing at the start. So don't be afraid to click reset when you lose all your hearts because you will lose all your hearts. In this case, it is okay to mess up. It's okay to not have all your hearts in the end. It's okay if you try this multiple times. Like it happens and it's bound to happen because like I said, it's, it's, this, it's, it's, it is pretty hard. So. What I do is usually when there's a lot of like simple numbers, I usually get my X's and I start at one end. See, look it. Now I already know that the three is gonna be up there. So that means I can get rid of all these spaces right here. So like I usually start at the end and then usually, not always, like I said, not always does that happen the same thing over there. But, but, first things first, you see how there's three is to fill right there? And you see how in these rows, on the, the bottom three rows, also, if you don't know the difference between rows and columns, rows are the things that go across, which are or horizontally, and columns are vertical or up and down, okay? So, you see how these rows, the bottom three rows at the bottom, <laughs> um, have one already started, that that means there's not gonna there's not a one in between, so we can't cross off all these things next to it, all this the three squares next to the three bottom rows. So we can know that these four right here and these three and these three, or these two I guess technically, are going to be filled in, which means we can do what? Cross out everything right there because it can't be that anymore. It can't. And now if we look back up at our column, our second column and our third column, we can see that there's a four in the mixture, or in, in the fourth column, we can see that there's a four in the mixture. And since there's already three done, that means the fourth one has to be there, and we can get rid of this whole column, the rest of the column. And then if you see here, there's only three there. And since six is before three, we can't count that one as a three. So that means you have to put these six down, which gets rid of that problem. Then, if we move on to the next column, the fourth column, you see that it starts at as a five. So that means we can get we can get, color those five in. And as you heard or you saw, you see that this fourth, fourth row up 
from the bottom has cleared up. It has turned white, so we can get rid of that whole um, row. Now, like I said, this is, requires a lot more thinking. It's not always going to be correct, and it's not always going to be right. So, I strongly suggest that you count, or that you aren't afraid to uh, mess up. And, um, take your time in these. A lot of people just go for it and then get frustrated and quit it at the end. Which I don't like doing, but I, I would strongly suggest that. Now, if you're about to ask how I knew that those places were right there, you can do the math. Since there has to be one separating each one, the two we can count as a three, the three we can count as a four, and the four we can count as a is just four because of the two stop. Um, so if you add those up, it's four plus four, which is eight, plus two, which is ten. So we had, what, 11 spaces left? So we already know. Um, I don't know if I used the right numbers there, but I, I you get what I was trying to say. So the next thing that I was just doing, if it's like you see how there's a three in the third column, you don't exactly know where it is. And if you need to use one of your things, I would suggest going, like, just getting on your X's and doing this. Because there's going to be more X's in that column than um, blocks. Now, if you look at the second row, you see uh, there's 11 in there. We already crossed off. I mean, we, already, we only have 10 left over there. So that means we need to know that we're going to know that at least, at least those ones are going to be filled. Like I said, you need, to, these are going to have boxes. I mean, there has to be boxes separating them because there wouldn't be separate numbers if they weren't. So I, I did the math. And also, the number turns like a lighter gray once you once you finish. So it'll be, it'll it'll it's 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 helpful. It is. So you don't need to worry about that. And then we go back up to this row, and we see that there's that many left. And we go back here, and you see this has to be eight. And then we can't fit the eights in here. So we know that it's the eights are going to be up. Like I said, there's a lot of thinking that goes on in these games. Um, so don't beat yourself up if you, like, s screw up multiple times. Multiple times. Because, trust me, when I started this, I had absolutely no clue what I was doing. But I figured it out eventually. And uh, ever since then, this game has been, like, kind of really fun. I play it all the time, and I didn't start... Um, when that, oops, I didn't start when that, um, thing happened. I didn't start when those cha daily challenges happened, so I went back and played all of them. I think I started last month, and last month was August. So, you know, it, it's, it's... It's addicting at first, or at least for me, and I know it can be frustrating. It's just, it's kind of like a lot of not giving up. <laughs> and like, it, trust me, if you need to, just go and play a few easies. It, it'll boost your confidence up, and it will help so much, so much, I'm telling you. Um, so, if you keep messing up like I clearly just did twice in a row... I would suggest that you actually, like, try to remember. If it's just the beginning, like, if you didn't do as much work as I did, I mean, I guess you could say that's work. You, I would suggest trying to just, like, re remembering where those spots are so you don't have to continuously, um... Try, um, watch ads just because they're ads okay if you don't mind watching ads then go for, then like don't don't listen to me 
Like, if that's something you actually enjoy doing... Oh, I did not mean to click that space. If that is something that you actually enjoy doing, then just go for it. Like, who am I to judge? Um... <laughs> And I'm sorry if this is a little rambling, rambling and this video is kind of long. It's just I wanted to show that it is possible to do some of these. And it is, it, sometimes there is like, kind of like, oh, kind of like a tactic to it. And like, there's a lot of tips, at least I think so, that I've learned that if you're just starting out would be very helpful. I mean, lear there's no better way than doing it yourself for learning, at least in my opinion. But sometimes a little nudge of help won't hurt anybody. So, I don't know. Um, if you watch this far, I mean, obviously that you actually want, it's obvious that you actually want to play this game. And you actually want to try to do it. <laughs> then, I mean, maybe I didn't waste however many, however much time this took to make this video. It, maybe I didn't. So, even if it does help just one person, I'm satisfied with that. I really genuinely am. Well, now I know where everything is. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I mean, if you guys want... I I have about every game that has been advertised to me. About every game. Um, if you guys want more tips about, because I do I play a lot of games, <laughs> I don't go out much. <laughs> no, if you guys want, like, tips for, um, how to play, I guess you'd say, or, like, what you, uh, different games, like, I, I, I have, like, I have absolutely no problem showing you guys what I've found, and I have absolutely no problem getting new games and trying them out, so... I hope this helped. <laughs> I really hope it did. So, I mean, if it did, dope. If it didn't, oh well. So, um, in the comments, go ahead and, like, <laughs> tell me what games you want me to do or something like that. And, yeah, have a great day.